But the last time we were in Houston, they were drinking around 40 to 50 gallons of water a day. They eat a lot, as you can see. And it generally takes us about 30 to 45 minutes to hitch up those horses. So while we're doing that, we'll be out here answering any questions you guys have. I'm trying to get them all answered, give you a little bit more information on the horses. All of our horses are transported in these three large semi trucks. Two of them are, if you just try to, don't take it personal if he tries to take off. I mean, it's, it's nothing personal, it's just how he is. So selective here. Every team has their own Dalmatian dog. Ours is Clyde, he's about three. Uh, I think the East Coast dog's name is Barley, and then uh, April is the dog they have out on the West Coast. But the West Coast has two dogs right now, Chip and Barley. Anybody have any questions? Or Chip and April. Any questions out here at all? Anything else? Yes. The swing position? Okay, so the two horses closest to the wagon are uh, what make up our wheel team. They're the two biggest, strongest horses that we have, which is important because we want those guys closest to the wagon to get that wagon started and stop. Like I said, 7,000 pounds, so there's a lot of weight on that wagon. All these guys can pull double their body weight, though. So they all average about 2,000 pounds. Each one of them is pulling around 4,000 pounds by themselves. Our wheel team today is going to be Rocco in Denver. That's the right name, Sam. Uh, so our body pair is King in Red today. Those guys work together with our swing team. Those horses actually help to turn the wagon. So those four horses in between the lead horses and the body horses actually help to turn that wagon. So when that driver pulls in the reins, it's able to take those horses that direction. The left goes left, right goes right, obviously. And then last but not least, they're not out here yet. We're still getting them ready and prepped. We're going to have Sparky and Cash. We'll make up our lead team. They are small enough to stay ahead of the rest of the team quick enough as well. And also quick enough to carve those corner returns a little bit faster than the rest of the horses. And everybody has their very important job. Work together with their team. They're all very responsible for a, a certain job and function. So it's important we put these guys where they're going to be strongest at. And then we do have two drivers that will sit up on top of that wagon. Between all the tension and weight from the lines, looking around 75 to 80 pounds in your hands at all times. So you can still get a little bit tired. It's nice to be able to switch back and forth from another driver if you do get a little bit a little bit tired up there. Obviously Clyde can't drive the wagon just yet, so uh, it is hollow. That's it's kind of the similar where they would have that's how they would have delivered beer a long time ago. Uh, it's hollow right now that you store parts and elements of the wagon in there. Uh, people do sit up on top of that though when we have when we have riders when we do events where we have riders they actually have seat belts on top of there too. Yes. What's it? Well between all the horses and the farms that we have we have around 180 to 200 Clydesons. We actually have the largest herd of Clydesons in the United States. Uh, some of these horses have been in commercials. It's hard to tell you exactly which ones though because we have so many. Uh, if they're kicking a football or doing something very specific though usually those horses are going to be down at Grant's farm in St. Louis. There's something extra to see when you go down there too. Also, nice little thing if you haven't taken any of our tours, especially this one here, you get a nice little sample of, uh, of the product at the end if you were uh, of age, I should say. These guys don't get their 30 gallons of beer until they're about 21. So. Yes, sir. Each one of our teams actually has their own barrier. Their shoes weigh around four to five pounds each. Uh, from end to end, if you were laid out straight in one straight line, they would be around 20 to 22 inches long. Uh, so you've got your uh, hoof, then you've got a nice thick pad of leather, leather that goes in between the shoe and the horseshoe itself. But yeah, there's a hoof that goes in between to keep it safe. So it's not sliding around because of all the walking and everything they're doing on the different surfaces. Also, the reason that we reshoe them every six weeks, regardless, he'll take those shoes off and inspect them. So if they don't need any reshoes, they'll put them back on. But typically, they get reshoed every six weeks.
computerized. A lot of paperwork for that. You don't want to be Oh, you don't want to ride inside there. There's too much equipment. There. You can take as many pictures as you want, Mark. I, well, just because they can't travel on the road doesn't mean we don't have a job for them. So a lot of times we keep their farm season as photo horses and so forth. Uh, like I said, we've got 180, 200 different horses. And at any, any given time, and every one of the places that we have the horses at, it's open uh, that we, we breed or we raise those horses are open to the public. So there's always, we want something there for everybody to see more, right? I have absolutely no clue on that. <laughs> it's a good question. I would assume a lot would be a good number. This is a, a B is usually the ones, you know, front to go from most of the stuff. It's really a little bit the location. Yes, ma'am. Straight across, stacked up, uh, about four inches, four inch increments. So the old form of everything they just still use. Probably under that philosophy, but it's not good. Yes.